we just dropped our new website and we added some really neat visual features. One cool thing that we did was this awesome gradient mask that we have going on here in the latest drop section. So looking at this thing, you might be wondering how the heck do you get a gradient mask going on your website? Not only that, but you can see that the content even below it is allowed to be passing through. So how do you do this type of technique? Well, let me show you. It's using a property called mask image. Now mask image is really fantastic because all we're doing with mask image is applying a linear gradient. We're starting at the top and going to the bottom. So it's vertical. We're going from black to transparent. And just by simply saying mask image, linear gradient, black to transparent, what we're doing is you're starting black up top here and going to transparent and you're masking the content below it. Now, to show you what this gradient looks like without the mask, I'm going to comment these two lines out. I'm going to save this with the background. And you can see that the mask is one to one here where the black is uh, allowing the content to be shown through and the transparency is fading out the content. So by using mask image with a linear gradient, we're able to fade out the content completely. Now, mask image needs the WebKit prefix, so hyphen WebKit mask image, and this is to work in most modern browsers. That said, support for this thing is really pretty good. You can see here that with these exceptions saying that supported with the prefix, so as long as you're using both the prefix and not the prefix, you get support in all of the latest versions of everything except for Internet Explorer, which is why we felt comfortable dropping this in our site. I gotta say, I love mask image after finding out about it. Now mask image supports more than just a linear gradient. It supports PNG masks. It supports SVG masks. And this thing is really neat. You can even do a revert, revert layer, unset. Mask image has a lot of properties to it. And this is one of those things that you may not have ever come across, but it's extremely powerful and very well supported on the web today. So if you want to mask your content, check out mask image. It's an amazing CSS property. And while you're at it, go ahead and sign up for our Black Friday sale. This thing is going on until the end of the month and you'll get our cheapest price ever and you'll get to check out the new Level Up tutorial site, which is banging. So as always, this is Scott. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next